Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you today with a in the field video. This is, let's try and guess what happened to this one. Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you today. We're going to talk about what happened to this lawn. This is not, this is a lawn that I cut, but I do not fertilize. So another company fertilizes this. And I noticed this area, it started about right there and then it just started growing. And so I checked the lawn and I found that it had chinch bugs. Uh, these are nasty little devils. Well, you can see how much damage it's done to this lawn. So we're here today to aerate and overseed it. Um, when I knocked on the door, I asked, you know, the, the customer, uh, Mrs. So-and-so, I, I found insects in your lawn. I was just curious, um, if you knew that and the company had came out and they did they did a they peeled up and they said they didn't find anything and i said well i found it right away and i found it over there and i found it over there so um, they came back they applied the insecticide but these are the things that you deal with and this is why youtube is very difficult when it comes to lawn care especially in the fertilizing aspect of it because this is an all bent grass lawn she is not going to peel this whole lawn out and 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 start over with turf type tall fescue or Kentucky blue. Yeah, we're in an older style neighborhood. That's bent grass. That's fine fescue. There's a little bit of Kentucky blue and rye in that lawn over there. Mostly bent grass. And, and these older neighborhoods, you have to find a way to treat these lawns and make them look good. So outside of the outside of the insect damage, the cutting. Look at that nice and striped. These are the lawns that you deal with. And these are the lawns that you have to find a way. I did, I did pick this lawn up. It is now my lawn. Um, it, I start next year with it. Uh, so I already cut it. Makes sense. I do trim the shrubs. I do the landscaping, which we're going to do a, a, the last landscape of the year, but I'm here to aerate and overseed it. And I just wanted to do a really quick video and just show you some of the, some of the things that you run into, you know, um, with, with dealing with lawn care. And, and if this was me, I would have caught this a lot quicker. You know, it, I wouldn't have let it get to this point because I'm here every week. I saw what was going on. A lot of mis people mistake because we had a drought this year, chinch bugs damage for drought damage. And so having said that, look for these type of things. These are things that you can knock on your customer's door, bring it to their attention, pull back the lawn. The chinch bugs usually live in, within the first one eighth of the soil, usually in the thatch level. They're little black bugs with little crosses on their back, X white rings. So you can find these pretty quick. Now, if left alone, this whole lawn would be destroyed. Chinch bugs would eat the whole lawn. And so that's what we're here to do today. We're going to aerate, overseed it, and, and see what comes up um, in the mix. We have coarse fescue is over there. You have some coarse fescue here, um, and then coarse fescue here, and then it moves right in to the whole lawn is now completely bent grass. There's hardly any. I, I did replant over here. I think I replanted this probably five years ago. This used to be a landscape bed around this telephone pole. This whole area was a landscape bed, and you can see where the Kentucky blue and the rye is that I planted. So this is all Kentucky blue and rye. And then it goes straight back into bent grass. So this is all brand new. This was all a landscape bed. It was all mulched all the way up and around. And so as you can see, that's really nice part of the lawn. So we're going to aerate over seed. You guys have any questions? Just another in the field video of, of the lawn care side of things, the fertilizing side of things. Overall, the grass is green. Uh, they're putting enough chemicals on they just missed this part of it and i was able to upsell it and i was able to um, land the account for next year so uh, nice little land nice little, i've been cutting this for years been doing the shrubs for years um, probably over a decade now um, good people and um, the company the company that bought out the company i used to work for is the one who takes care of this so that's my time. If you have any questions uh, about this part of the video, put them down in the comment section. Give me a like. Say that you at least like this video. Guys, All right. Finished product. 
It's aerating over seed. I actually found grubs in it too. So when I was pulling it up, I actually found the grubs. So I, I double, triple aerated this little section here. And so good to go. We're pulling out some decent plugs today. It's decent plugs. Uh, needs a little bit of rain though. If it rain, it would pull out some better plugs. So, so we're pulling out decent plugs. So we're ready to go. I just wanted to show you the finished product. Everything's done and uh, nice little upsell. Chitch bug damage means regular, more income. And so aeration, overseed, insecticide. Of course, the company that did this put the insecticide on. That's my time, guys. You have a good day. Johnny, my ICD doesn't cut good. I mean, man, look at this ICD deck. Get out of here. Don't talk to me about it. I can't get it to cut good. Look at this. Unreal.